Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Planted Base. My name is Tiffany. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy to be back, guys. And here on Planted Base, you're going to be talking about peace in preparation. <laughs> Finding peace in your preparation. I believe and I have experienced and I know that when we call upon the Lord in the middle of our prep, while he's getting us ready for whatever it is he's preparing us for, whether it is you're in college, you're getting ready to go into schooling, my prayer today is after this video, you will be reminded and encouraged to find peace in your preparation. If you're a business owner like myself, searching and trying to figure out how to be an entrepreneur, listen, find peace in your preparation. Wherever it is, if you're engaged, ready to get married, if you are pregnant, ready to bear a child, whatever it looks like, whatever season you're in, just think about it. And just remember, you're in a season of preparation. You are, we are always being prepared for something greater. That's just how amazing God is. And so I'm going to pray that we're going to jump right into this. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. Thank you, God, that wherever we are, Lord, we can experience, one, your peace. That surpasses all understanding. Second, God, we know that we're being prepared for just the next, Father God. We're being prepared for the next. So God, as we are being prepared, I pray that you would just allow us to find patience, peace, Father God, and to trust in you, Lord. God, we thank you, and I pray that you would bless this moment, Lord. I pray that you would take over and take control and let this minister to whoever is tuning in. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right. So, I got my notes. We're going to talk about a couple people in the Bible that just had to be prepared. And, you know, I recently was speaking to a friend before we jump into the Bible characters. I was talking to a friend and I told her, I said, it's funny enough that everything that I've experienced as I was growing up, because some of you may know, some of you may not know, my father's a pastor. And so being a PK, it is, <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. Like I was born with serving. I literally was born serving, essentially, a lot of PKs like to say. And I remember just as a young girl, just passing out pizza or just like going in the back and prepping the food or literally sitting down with my dad and prepping the songs for whatever it is he wanted us to sing, do a trio, my sisters and I, for his sermon. Whatever it looked like, I just remember I was always being prepared. And I realized that the Lord was prepping me for where I am now. The jumping out and just singing randomly with my sisters, I was so afraid. And I had the squawky, <laughs> I don't even know, like a chicken voice, I guess you could say. <laughs> my voice was just so rough. But as I grew, and a priest, I'm a praise team leader now at our church, and it's, it's so interesting that God was preparing me those little times when we would go from church to church, wherever my dad was preaching that Sunday or that Wednesday, and we would be singing. It prepared me to be a praise team leader or serving or just decorating. Prepared me for being an organizer, like right now, those of you that may not know, I am a hostess host hostess yeah and I go around and I host for weddings parties and it's just something I picked up that I love doing and it's a ministry guys it's so amazing we also do decor so yeah I'll put it all down in the description box so you guys can get into that but all those times though those years prior when I was younger and I was doing it just for the church it became a part of my business like, God has a reason for everything. And so, you can look at the life of David. David, when he was young, he was a shepherd boy. To the point where his father, when they were looking, when he was, there was a prophet that came to his father. I'm going to break it down for y'all real quick. And he was like, I need all of your sons. God told me that one of your sons, the son of Jesse, that was David's father's name, will be the king. And so Jesse, but all of his sons, they were all warriors going into battle. And then um, the prophet was like, no, I believe it was Samuel who was the prophet. 
and says, it's none of these guys. It's none of them. And he's like, well, I have one little scrawny guy out in the field who watches the sheep. And it happened to be David. So years before David was appointed officially king, he was anointed as a king. And all he did was watch the sheep. But in those years of watching the sheep, it helped prepare him for being the shepherd of God's people, being the shepherd of Israel. God appointed him king for a reason. And even when David went and sat underneath Saul, who was the king, he was learning what not to do. And Saul did have some good. So he was learning from Saul. Just think about where you are right now and remember that what the things that you're learning, they may seem mundane, it may seem repetitive, it may seem dull, but God has a purpose, a supernatural purpose in everything that's happening to you. Look at Queen Esther. Before she became Queen Esther, there was a whole preparation that these women had to go through. I'm talking about, I think it was even over a six month beauty process, process that they had to go through. Oh, I can't even speak. Process they had to go through. Whatever it is that you are called to do, the things you're learning, so long as you're like God, I'm, as so long as you're living your life out for the Lord, because if you just um, if you just doing your own thing, I don't know. But you know what's crazy? God can even use that. <laughs> the things that we decide and go haywire on, that we decide and veer off path, God can still use that as a part of your journey, as a part of your testimony. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you guys one more example. Ooh, let me tell you something. Let me, I'm gonna read this quote because I wrote all this down for y'all. God is going to make room for you to have peace in your preparation. God is gonna make room for you to have peace in your preparation. Whatever it looks like, guys. You may not see it, but maybe you need to go before the Lord and ask him, Lord, where is it? Where, where, what is it you need me to be focusing on? Because I know you're preparing me for something greater. Lord, what does it look like? Because when the Lord makes room for you to have peace, that means that you've called upon the Lord to come into your situation, into your life, to be able to prep you in that season mm -mm, do not grow weary in doing good for in due season you will reap a harvest if you do not give up that is one of my that verse that verse man i'm telling you this past season seasons just learn jumping out of working at a nine to five and having to make my own schedule has been such a different aspect of what God has been calling me to do and yet in his goodness he's allowed me to figure it out and I have a flexible schedule where I can minister and I can serve and I could build my business begin to build that generational wealth that he's called us to have not just me all God's people I told God I need that wealth of Jabraham <laughs> That's gonna be my son's name, y'all. J. Abraham, get over here. Of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, these men were well off. They were. Why? Because they literally were so focused on their calling and on their purpose. And all of them have stories. If you just look at people in the Bible, even Paul or Saul, who was turned to Paul. His story is so crazy. He had to have a whole encounter with the Lord before he could even begin to walk in his purpose. And that boldness that he had, ready to come against the Christians, he had to go back with the same boldness like, hey, yo, um, Jesus is real. The same people he was persecuted, he had to go back to and testify. That must have been a hard pill to swallow. But I'm telling you, now... In this season, just me, just living, like looking back on my past, the way the the testimony I have, y'all, is just like Jesus just came and rescued my life. You know that song? And I'm never going back. My response is hallelujah. 
y'all that is my that is my jam my response is hallelujah because literally god has came and rescued my life like i understand where paul was coming from so wherever you are i'm gonna say it one more time whatever it looks like for you guys do not don't feel as if god has forgotten you in those months or years that are going by that look the same and there's nothing changing god is doing something he's building your skill he's strengthening those muscles because sometimes i know personally from being at the gym my husband is getting into fitness training whenever we get at the gym y'all and i love the gym whenever we go there you have to continue you have to be consistent yes you need to be consistent in what you do so sometimes it may be every single day you're lifting that lifting the dumbbell every single day ladies we're doing our squat guys could do a squat too but every day you're doing the same repetitive moves but there's something that's building up there's something that's building up when you get on that treadmill you're trying to shred that fat there is something that is happening we cannot be discouraged we can't so my prayer as we get ready to close is just to for you to find that peace find your peace because the bible says come to me all of you who are heavy so some of us may be like burdened down by this but God is here to give you rest. That's what the scripture says. Come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And let me tell you, the scripture says, God will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. So, that's my word for y'all today. Remember, you are not the only one that's been going through this. You are strengthening those muscles. You are in the preparation season. Be not discouraged. Be encouraged. Y'all, the Lord is working on you. And what an honor to be worked on by the potter. Oh, y'all, I can't wait to see what I'm going to look like at the end. Because this clay right here. Anyways, y'all, let's pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, God, for just being so awesome and being so real and just being so alive in us, God. Thank you, God, that you have said in your word, you will give us that peace that surpasses our understanding, that we will be like, like, yo, like, how am I full of peace when all this chaos is going around me? And let us testify to others. Let us not just keep quiet when we experience that peace because there are other people that are that are in need of it that don't even know you that need to come to know you to get that peace so let us be loud about the peace that surpasses all understanding god i pray that you would just mold us god i pray that you would just shape us and strengthen us god i pray that you would just give us that authority that godfidence lord that is un penetrable father god by the enemy that all the darts that the enemy tries to throw at us will just be fall will just fall to our feet god just give us your favor give us your grace give us your wisdom in this season and most of all god just give us a stillness in our hearts lord we thank you we praise you we magnify your name we bless you <laughs> thank you god we know we will soon reap a harvest and we won't give up in jesus name we pray amen i hope that this ministers to you i hope that you are well i hope that you would share this with somebody and you would like and you would subscribe if you've not yet because it's time it's time guys it's time it's time what are you waiting for you don't need to be prepared for that just just a one, two, three thing. Share it, like it, subscribe. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have an awesome rest of your day. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Until next time. Bye, guys.